five, five, three, two. Welcome to John Bonham Moby Dick Live Drum Solo Lesson Number Two. Now, really, this is like lesson number like probably 47, except most of my lessons, as I said in the first video, which there's a link to, I'll put up in a second so you can see the first link. I haven't put it yet, so wait a second. Were made before my modern sound system with my piping hot record uh, condenser mics and my Nikon D3300 camera and my eight channel soundboard. But here's the deal, okay, so Wow. Yesterday was Moby Dick Live Lesson 1. This is just modern technology plus to what I'm trying, like the modern, most modern sound I have, plus I'm trying to streamline everything. I'm stretching out into more concise videos. So there's smaller but more effective nuggets for us to work on. Okay, instead of having one video that has like 17 things over a half hour and I go back and forth. Okay. So yesterday what I did was, is I started with the Bonham engine. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do Here's the video for the Bonham engine. I have a couple of videos on the Bonham engine, which is a way of sort of playing single strokes on the drums with all four limbs. Here's the link, the card. Okay, so check that out. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about it now. I can't waste any time because I'm trying to move forward and get on here. But yesterday's video was that, okay? So where we left off in yesterday's video was the Bonham engine riff we were doing Right hand, left foot simultaneously. Left hand, right foot simultaneously. But what I had us do, remember, is I then, going into perpetuity, just keep it going. But doing like, what would you can consider triplets with the right, okay? With the right, with the hands. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the, this off for a second. I'm gonna muffle it for a minute so it's not so loud. So what I had us doing was this. Remember, if you do triplets hand to hand, one triplet, two triplet, three. See that? Or as I count it, one and a two and a three. Or as well, I'll just say it now. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left. Okay. While the engine goes. Okay. yesterday's that's really that's where we wanted to be in the Moby Dick live drum lesson one department okay now what we're doing is we're taking for I just was right now remember that we're considering that just for ease's sake one and the two and the three and the four and the one and the two and the th okay just as the engine goes okay but here's the deal what we want to do now and remember, this is a basic paradigm. I have a dear friend, Joel, God love me, called me yesterday. He's like, remember, he and I are both from Chicago. So sometimes when we talk, we talk like this. He's like, Derry. He's like, you left a whole bunch of stuff out of Moby. And I'm like, well, Joel, it's, drum, it's the drum lesson one. It's the one I'm leaving all stuff out on purpose. He's like, oh, so here's the deal. So now what we're doing is we're getting to the next level. <laughs> okay. We're not going to just think about it as the, the Bonham engine in perpetuity. With the hands going one and the two and the three and the five, da, 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 just which is a great exercise, okay? Which is really the just the bottom engine, just with the triplets going hand to hand. But what we want to do now is we're going to start, and I mentioned it in yesterday's video, thinking about it with the, everything staying the same as it's being played, but thinking about it as sixteenth notes instead of like triplets. So instead of one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, just think of this, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, okay? Because remember, the space between one and a two, between one, two, three, and one and a two and a three, there's three notes there between each big guy. In 16th note, well, there's four. So instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, you got 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's what. So we're subdividing it, but that's just for like notation purposes. We're not changing anything we're actually doing here. It's a way we're thinking about it, okay? So it's not complicated. It might seem right now like, oh my God, eighth note, eighth note triplets time. Have no fear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna think of it like this now. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One, okay? But what we're gonna do is, so check this out, because generally in Moby Dick, remember I said in, in the Moby Dick Live video one yesterday, Bonham, I think, is playing along to like a melody in his head. Like when he's sitting there playing this, this really cool part, you gotta admit, man, I remember when I first heard Moby Dick, and I had it on, my, on vinyl, like 19, uh, 19, here we are, 1980, at my house, growing up in Oak Park, Illinois. Moby Dick would be on da 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 ba ba da 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 ba da boom ba da boom boom ba da ba 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 da boom ba da ba 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 boom boom ba da boom ba ba ba. It sounded so. And I remember when I saw the movie for the first time in 1982 at Harlem Cermak, across the street from where, in um, Wayne's World, where they're driving around Burwin. and they were from Burwin, Illinois, man, it's right by us. And they're driving around, you see those cars, like the artwork, the cars on post. That was right across the street from the Harlem Cermak Theater that in 1982, I saw The Song Remains the Same with my cousin Bibio and his crew, 1982. It's also the same theater I saw Porky's with Brendan and Harry. <laughs> Harry was Bibio's friend, God love him, good guy. He looked like he was 40, but he was like 16. So we just marched into Porky's like, yeah! You know, those Porky's movies are, are better plot-wise and acting than you think they are, in addition to other great things. So, here we are. One E and a two E and a three E and a... So, just watch. So, instead of just kind of going like this... Now, watch your volume toggle. So, I know somebody asked about, like, compression and stuff. So, instead of, like... As you just loosely think of that one and the two and the three and the four... What I want you to do is think of this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Instead of even the one E and a two, just think of it like this. One and two and three and four and one, two, three and four and one and two and three and four. And because you so right in this case, your left foot is playing the one and two and, okay? That's what makes it hard, what I said in the first video about a lot of people always want to do not even just the right arm and the right leg at the same time which is not the bottom engine, which I'm trying to teach you to not do. They also want to make that right the one. So like one, when in fact it's the left. It's the left foot, which is the one with the right hand, okay? One, okay? So one and two and three and four and one and, okay? So what we're going to do is this. But the pattern of the hand-to-hand, -hand, like triplet, like, stays the same, but because we're in one, two, three, four land, if you play one and a two and a three and a four and a, if you do that, it won't easily cleanly come out into a group of four that way, okay? It, okay, you'd, you'd actually be like one and a two and a three and a four and a five and one and a two and a three and a four, okay, just by the way of the music. So wh what I want you to do is just, this is where the Bo Diddley thing kind of comes in. I mentioned this before in 900 of my other videos. It's like, just, like. Who do you love? That one. What I want you to do, I used to meet a band called Occasional Stray back in the 90s. And we had a song called Why Do I? And I started it out on drums. Well, I had a bass drum in there, I think. Okay, now watch. Now what I'm doing there is I'm even though I'm going two groups of four, but I go one, two, three, four. I'd see that. Do you understand? So I'm going. We can use the Halloween theme too in a minute too, but we're not going to know. But what that is is in 16th Noteville, 
the, and I mentioned this yesterday, so then it's one E and a two and a three E and a four E and a, okay? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So that's actually what we're gonna do. So what are we doing? So you can think the boat did you think of the band I was in occasional stray with my friend George Hawley in the dude sickles back in the day. We were the house band at Shuba's kind of for a while. But so think about this. Three, four. Because remember, Moby Dick's right is a Scott way about it. Okay? So now the crucial thing in Moby Dick, as in that occasional stray skitty scat, is this. Which we're not going to be aware of that, okay? Because in Moby Dick, that motif, he does school stuff in there, okay? Actually, technically what he does, he goes, throws another one in there. But for now, we're just going to keep it, okay? So that's what I want you to think about it now, is like this. So, oh, I got this microphone. Sorry. I can't tell you why. Now watch. So instead of just the, if you want to practice bottom engine in perpetuity. As we get now into 16th note fill, because we want to keep stuff for now in this coming paradigm in groups of four, okay? So watch. Junk, 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 So we have five accents going on. So it's it, it's it it is in triplet. you can think of it as like one and a two and a three and a four and a five. One and a two and a three and a four and a five. Oh, but it, don't think of it that way, because once we're getting into this mindset, you got to think of it as the triplet. So it's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and three E and a four E. Okay, see how there's five accents there? One E and a two E and a three E. And a there's the fifth, okay? So that's what we're going to do just for this paradigm. Remember, that ultimately, there's different things that he does that we're going to do. But for now, just to get, like, the paradigm, the kata going. Okay, remember, right now, we're still keeping the... Both feet still doing the singles. Okay, we're just keeping it that way. So that for this video is all we want to do, okay? Bear in mind in Moby Dickville, think of a Scott thing. It's like... Now listen to this for a minute. You'll notice sometimes that those... The little shimp that occur after the boom boom pa are sometimes varying lengths. Okay? So it's not always necessarily boom boom ba 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 la. No, what I'm doing is I'm subdividing it further. That's why I'm doing eight instead of four. So boom boom ba 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 da ba ba. Boom boom ba 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 da. Eventually, sometimes you'll have these. Boom boom ba 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 ba. Boom Like an extra. But because I think Bonham is, he's doing it to like. Again, like a scat, I think, sort of song in his head. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be like, like, Matt, like, oh my God, we're adding an eighth note there. Don't think about it that way. See my face. You can look at me like the Mac, not Mac Davis. People say I look like Mac somebody. Mac Daddy. Think of it like this. Okay, 
Doom, doom, ba, dun, ga, da, ga, da, ga, boom, boom, dun, ta, ba, ba, da. So your basic one I'm trying to teach now would be this one. Boom, boom, ba, sha, ba, 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 boom, boom, sha, ba, 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 boom, boom, ba. So see, those are all like four. Boom, boom, sha, ba, ba, ba. I keep wanting to sort of do eighth note or triplets. Here you go. Boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom, ba, 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 ba. Boom, boom, ba, ba, ba. So see how that first boom on this count of four always comes. Boom, boom, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Boom, boom, ba, 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 da, da. Boom, boom, ba, 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 da, da, da. One, two, three. Okay. So right now I'm just giving you the basic one. Just we'll keep it in four to make it easy. Boom, boom. Remember, and keeping that one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a back to the and then we repeat that. Oh my God, that hurt. Okay, so. Okay, like those last three notes after that accent are just quiet ones for now that just make up the rest of it. Back to the head. One, da, 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 ba, 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 Okay, that's what the shamp, ba, 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 is that, okay? And just a little teaser in the next time, because sometimes Bonneville, it'll do stuff like this. So, ba, 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 this is what we're talking about now, right? Da, ba, da, 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 why do I, from occasional, straight back in the 90s in Chicago, da, ba, da, ba, ba, da, 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 one, two, three, e, four, and, ba, but sometimes you will get this, is what I'm saying, too, that we'll deal with. Three, and we'll get, sha, ba, 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 like there's extra nuggets. And you might know from if you're really familiar with Moby Dick, you have a couple of these. Boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom. Like little turnaround things. So I'm not kidding. When you're playing Moby Dick or practicing it, or indeed you want to work on any other drum thing, sometimes think of a melody in your head that you're playing along to, okay? Because remember, the drums seldom exist in isolation. Thank you for watching. More videos on the way, okay? John, Moby Dick Lesson 3 is going to come. I think I'll probably do five, but I just want to make sure I want to treat each one as a separate video. I think it's easier for people who watch the videos. It's just a, a, a more simple pill to swallow each time you do it. Okay, we'll get there. Thanks for watching. More videos on the way. Uh, don't forget, always check out Bonzology, B-O-N-Z-O-L-O-G-Y. George and I have some more videos we're going to make together, but George has been making a lot of Led Zeppelin covers and videos too, so you got to check out Bonzology. Shoot him an email at gtbonzology at gmail.com and me one at bonzolium at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.